Hey, folks, we have a giveaway going on right now. You can enter down in the pinned comment and in the description for a Tears of the Kingdom Legend of Zelda Switch OLED, also a Tears of the Kingdom Collector's Edition and a pin from PAX East. We're also on our road to 133,000 subscribers to match 133 years that Nintendo has existed. I appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon to turn on all notifications, and let's get into this video. So, look... We know Tears of the Kingdom's leaked, right? We're, we're not going into any spoiler territory or any leaks. But there are some things that we can learn on the fringe of this that is worth talking about. I did note that we were done talking about leaks the moment the game leaked. But this isn't really a leak. This is more so an examination of a problem that was observed during the demos of the game. So, if you guys remember, we did a video, a report on what a few people were saying about the performance of Tears of the Kingdom coming out of that demo event, that it might be a bit rough. We went to a particular person who uh, was one of the co-founders of Polygon who talked about this, and then we also noted there were other outlets uh, that we sourced as well that were basically saying, yeah, the performance can be pretty bad sometimes, especially inside that Bokoblin camp that was in the preview demo, and it left some people concerned that, hey, this game might run worse than Tears of the Kingdom. Now, Zeltic, who did get to go hands-on with it, uh, responded to our video and uh, put a comment out there saying, hey, you know, I didn't really observe anything major. If anything, uh, it's no worse than Breath of the Wild. Now, some people do think Breath of the Wild's performance is pretty bad, and if you are hypersensitive to frame rate drops, this could be a problem for you. I mean, we can't ignore this. All of us have different sensitivities to different things. And believe it or not, even if frame rate drops tend not to disturb you or bother you and you still really enjoy it, I tend to be one of those people, there are others out there that are much more sensitive to it. It just hits them differently. And this is a nice reminder that we're all very different people. We all consume things differently. We all also have a completely different set of eyes and all of our eyes don't necessarily see the world in the same way. So what we need to remember is in the end, it's possible that even a five FPS drop could massively bother someone and for others not really bother them that much, right? You could have two different opinions on the same result. So saying that it's no worse than Breath of the Wild isn't necessarily what people want to hear, right? Switch is more powerful hardware. People were hoping, hey, we should at least get a lock 30 FPS, right? Well, this is something we can get from uh, the leaks, right? This is something we can get some information on from the leaks, some performance stuff. And I actually found this over on the Tears of the Kingdom Reddit and then just talked to a few people who have been... <clears throat> observing the game in action anyways, uh, to, to sort of see if this is a performance problem. And the only way we can really do a fair comparison is to compare the same areas. So I don't want to show a, a majority of this thread because, again, it does contain spoilers. But the very beginning of it is something that I, I wanted to talk about. Uh, and this comes from Nick Yeah underscore on the Tears of the Kingdom. He says, I've got to say a lot, but I'll shorten it. And I've seen many different videos of gameplay, and I'll start with the performance it's pretty good from what I've seen. Similar to Breath of the Wild, where it's a solid 30, 95% of the time, but it has small drops when pulling out a rune or when there are ex you know, a ton of explosions on screen. I saw some clips of people going back to where the previews were, and the frames looked much smoother than what preview videos showed. Much smoother. Now, of note, of course, there's a few caveats we have to put with this, right? You could be watching people playing it on a, let's just say, an emulator on PC, right? Like that, that you could just be overpowering the game. Uh, also, you could be, you know, for people playing it on hack switches, they could have modified their switch to, I don't know. I, I, I guess people modify their switches for many reasons. Like one of them probably is to overclock it. But it turns out, uh, in talking to a few people, that some of these streams and some people playing the game haven't modified their switches. They only hacked it, and that's it. They're not, like, doing other custom mods and increasing it. And it turns out that even according to them, yes, 
the frame rate is actually much smoother in that same area. Now, we talked about how it's always possible when they played the demo that this could have been an older build. This might not have been a finalized thing, even though it was pretty close to release. And I said it would be weird for it not to be a close to final build. Uh, and, and what was odd is that almost everyone who played the preview demo noted that the footage Nintendo provided, because there is footage that they could direct record, and then there was footage Nintendo's like, hey, if you need additional footage, we got stuff for you as well. Nintendo's own footage seemed to have even more frame rate drops than their footage did, suggesting that Nintendo's recording was from an even earlier build. So whatever build they played at the preview event must not have been the final build, because we are seeing... You know, unfortunately due to the leak, but at least this is a positive confirmation that, yeah, the game doesn't really have the sort of performance issues that maybe people were expecting coming out of that preview event. Again, 95% of the time is just sort of a, a number thrown out there. It's not like the person was measuring, but it certainly seems like the frame rate dips are not nearly as pronounced as they were in the demo. And that's extremely good news. Uh, for this game and, and a massive positive. So if there's ever a positive that we can get out of the leaks that isn't spoilery, I, I think it's worth talking about. This is one of those rare cases where it's something we could talk about on the peripheral and go, hey, that's a really good thing. And I'm really glad that Tears of the Kingdom is that way. Unfortunately, there's other things I now know about the game that I'd love to talk about, but I can't because um, I said I wouldn't. So we're, we're just going to leave it at that. Things that a lot of people would like to know. Again, I told you, it makes it really hard to talk about Tears of the Kingdom when now I know things that I can't talk about. It's not because I'm playing it. It's just, it's out there, right? Um, as I said, I read this thread to get this information so I could share it with you guys. And the thread itself, I couldn't help it. I had to read the rest of it and I learned some things. Uh, it's life. So you guys are awesome. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoy this video. Uh, we'll be back with another video uh, probably later today. Also, a reminder that tonight we have a special 100,000 subscriber live stream. And you might go, Nate, didn't you hit 100K last month? We certainly did. But the plaque is here. Our 100K plaque is arriving today from YouTube. So we're doing a 100K special stream tonight. And uh, I'm, I'm probably going to be pretty emotional. For those that know me, it's going to be a pretty emotional moment when I unbox that plaque. But... Uh, you guys are awesome. I want to thank you so much for being here. Thanks for being a part of my journey here on YouTube. I wouldn't this, this channel would be nothing without you guys. Um, whether you've been here for six years or whether you've only been here for six days, uh, you guys are incredible. And let's get into some news later today. We got some other stories we need to get to. Maybe some non-Zelda stuff to update you guys on. But uh, for now, I am Nathaniel Rumpeljance from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you in the next video.